In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Thanks be to God. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel from St. Luke, chapter 14, verses 1 through to 11. Now it happened as he went into the house of one of the rulers of the Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath, that they watched him closely. And behold, there was a certain man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus, answering, spoke to the lawyers and the Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? But they kept silent, and he took him and healed him, and let him go. Then he answered them, saying, Which of you, having a donkey, or an ox, which is falling into a pit, will not immediately put he, pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him regarding these things. So he told a parable to those who were invited when he noted that they chose the best places, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honourable than you be invited by him. And he who invited you will come and say to you, Give place to this man. Then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you comes, he says, may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those who sit at the table with you. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us to be humble in all our ways, to be true disciples of yours. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, we have two sections. One, of course, is to do with healing on the Sabbath. Now, Jesus was invited to this ruler of the Pharisee's house to have some bread on the Sabbath. They all watched what he was doing. There was a man there who had dropsy. And they all wondered, what would he do? And Jesus then spoke up and said, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? But they kept silent, and looked, and he took him and healed him and let him go. Then Jesus answered them, saying, Which of you, having a donkey or an ox, which has fallen into a pit, will not immediately go and pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him regarding these things. They were all dumbfounded. Then the second part here. Jesus noticed how they all, when they were coming in, were trying to get into the best seat. And he said this parable to them, and advising them. He said, when you are invited by anyone into, say, to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honourable than you be invited by him. 
and he who invited you and him come and say to you, Give this place to the, this man. And then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But Jesus said to them, But when you are invited, go and sit down in the lowest place, so that when he who invited you come, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher. Then you will have glory in the presence of those who are at table with you. Now here's the punchline. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Jesus is saying to us that we must be humbled in all ways, in the way that we live. When people see that you are humble, they will exalt you like this parable. How they'll say, come on up higher. It's an important message to remember always. Don't go for the best seat. Go for the lowest. Yes, important message. Jesus is telling us to be humble. Humble in all our ways. And through being humble, we will be exalted. Yes. So important. Christ was humble. He showed us this. He was humble in all that he did. God the Father exalted him. Glory to you, O God. Glory. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.